Kia ora, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This we get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, with news that generally isn't positive, but the data and sentiment seems to be remarkably resilient. The U US durable goods orders rose more in September than August, but not as much as was expected. But the rise from a year ago was an impressive 11.5%. Orders for capital goods rose 13.6% on the same basis, which is actually quite impressive in itself and indicates a broad commitment by firms there to new capital spending. The US economy grew at an annualised 2.6% in the third quarter of 2022, beating a forecast of a 2.4% rise and rebounding from a contraction in the first half of the year. Helping was strong business investment and a smaller current account deficit. Hurting was a fall in residential construction and marginally slower consumer spending. But this actually was the bit that held better than expected. This result is the first of three estimates, so it's subject to revisions. Not so positive is the next regional factory survey, this one from the Kansas City Fed District. This one points to a sharper softening in, in production, shipments and new orders. Still, employment rose mainly because those surveys expect a pickup because the economy is still decent, they say. That is borne out by remarks by one very large business in the region, Caterpillar. In China, they reported that industrial profits slipped in October. Apparently, foreign firms made losses in the month, as did local privately owned businesses. But state-owned businesses reported improved or holding profits. In Taiwan, the trifecta of an invasion fear, rising inflation and interest rate hikes saw consumer confidence there drop to a 13-year low in October. As expected, the European Central Bank raised its policy rates by 75 basis points earlier today, taking the key one to 2%. They tweaked a few of their support programs but didn't change them significantly. In just three months, they have raised rates by 200 basis points, the fastest pace of tightening in the bank's two-decade history. And global freight rates for shipping containers fell faster last week in the, than in the prior one, down by another 7% in this latest survey. It is rates out of China, especially to Europe, that drove this latest fall. Rates from China to the US also continued to fall. Transatlantic rates are actually now rising. Rates for bulk cargoes slipped again too. The US Treasury 10-year yield starts today back down another six basis points at 3.96% and back to where we were two weeks ago. And the price of gold will open today at $1,659 an ounce. This is down $8 from this time yesterday. And oil prices start today a dollar firmer than this time yesterday, at just under $89 a barrel in the US, while the international Brent price is at $95 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar will open today at 58.4 US cents, a little change from this time yesterday. But against the Australian dollar, we're up half a cent at 90.3 Australian cents. Against the euro, we're more than a half a cent firmer at 58.5 euro cents. That all means our trade weight and index starts today at 68.5 and another 30 basis points firmer than yesterday. Get more news affecting the economy in New Zealand from interest.co.nz. Kia ora, I'm David Chester.